Greetings everyone and today on our channel Severus Steel. Mercenary Steel wakes up in a basement of Eden Sis Corporation without her left hand. In the spirit of classics of first person shooters like Doom, she comes to a completely logical decision. The corporation should be punished, therefore almost everyone who meets her path should be killed. There is no need to expect a revelation from the plot, it is here, to put it midly for show. But the ball is ruled by the gameplay, elevated here to the absolute. It is worth nothing that the idea of one armed warrior feels fresh and interesting. A physical disability not only makes her a unique character, but also affects the mechanics of the game. Due to the lack of the left hand, steel does not reload, and the player is forced to get new guns as he moves through the level. They can be picked up from the bodies of the dead, knocked out of the hands of the still alive and also run and grab additional weapons heading in a holster of the belt of the opponents. Every month the industry pleases the public with a dozen of different new sequels, paraquels, remasters, rethinking of the classics, only to have time to read the editorials. And although the many premieres look curious, a rare announcement can evoke a strong response in a soul spoiled by masterpieces. After so many years everything looks familiar, beaten as if the most interesting is over. Over the time the suspicion arises that only a miracle can get rid of the game empathy, but in fact sometimes just one shock trailer of an equally shock fighter is enough. For precise control over actions, time dilation was introduced into the game in the spirit of the Max Payne. Jumping shooting was also bored from the ladder. At the any moment the mercenary is about to dive and slow down the time, which not only allows her to shoot more accurately, but also protects the against enemy hits. At the same time, the arsenal of actions is not limited to one dive and in many ways resembles that in the Titanfall series Steel can run along the walls, make tackles and double jumps, as well as push off the walls with a kick without increases the jump high and allows you to perform additional maneuvers. During all acrobatic priorities bullets of enemy fly by, which push for constant movement. Thanks to this the game can be easily compared with the titles such as Superhot and Ghost Runner. For the first time the slowdown and the need to calculate you every step are taken and from second the wild speed and the parkour. About added a pitch of retro shooter with the dynamics in the spirit of Doom Eternal or the original Quake. At the exit oddly enough we have an absolutely original product. There are not just a lot of enemies here but a lot of some levels of storyline campaign. The number exceed several dozen and their behavior is not scripted. The developers really heavily on artificial intelligence capable of coordinating actions and responsibility adequately to the player's behavior of course, not the fear level but also quite worthy. Killing adversaries restores the focus which is spent on slowing down time, without it and acrobatics, the bullet time scale flies away at incredible speed. Several still is about um something? It is difficult to clearly outline a synopsis when the story in the action movie is given at the first 5 minutes. A girl named Steel wakes up in the morning of garbage, discovers that she has become a cripple and goes to war against the offenders. This is the new beginning and until the very last shot the script will no longer throw food for the mind. No notes. No audio diaries explaining the essence of the conflict were also delivered the warrior has no time for such trifles. She need to punish insolent corporations. Fortunately, the loss of a limb practically did not affect the fighting spirit of the main character. Even without the second hand, she is fast, cold-blooded and deadly. If there is a pistol in her hand, almost supernatural dexterity running along the walls, going crazy samurais and pirates. This is perhaps all that can be said in terms of the gameplay. Steel rush through the office building and penthouses, jumps, moves, various soldiers like Grass and Slovy approaches the main William while bullets whisk past her head. The Senna's alternatives, new types of opponents appear on the way to the final and over time a blaster in the spirit of Mega Man will not say anything. And this is if anything is only a plus because the local shootings are miraculous good. Another interesting feature is the heroine's hand cannon, where she 
receives in one of the early missions. At first it shots bunches of energy, the resemble cannonballs are capable of killing almost any enemy with one blow. And closer to the end it begins to shoot correctly calculated kick and can not only send the enemy to the foreheads but also knock out a door or push a particularly armored enemy from a great height. Finally a few words about the graphics. The developer did not scream on support for modern technologies like DLSS and ray tracing, but the picture still looks quite budget. With a performance at some moments trouble comes due to destructibility and the overwhelming number of opponents, FPS drowns the last level periodically reaches the critical values. Whenever this will be fixed with the patches is a mystery. Apparently the authors of several steel are not strangers to the beautiful. They perfectly understand what is needed from a dynamic shooter and dump of the game with an abdurance of everything that can be dreamed of. The game is perhaps lacking in the Polish, but the ruthless gives its special. The game is perhaps lacking in the Polish, but the ruthless gives its special charm and unique features set it apart from many other dynamic indie shooters. Fans of spinal drive games are strictly not recommended to pass by. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. So have a nice one. Bye 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 bye.